In this quick tutorial, I will show you how to open your Chevrolet Blazer key fob to replace the internal battery at home. Uh, there are a couple versions, a couple layouts of this particular device. Some of them have a red panic button here. Um, and some of them, instead of having this picture of uh, the car with the trunk opening, it says rear 2X, something like that. Uh, it doesn't matter which version you have, as long as it's this kind of rounded design, it looks similar to this or if it's the one um, pictured in the thumbnail, you can just follow along with me here. The process will be exactly the same, and I promise we will get a new battery in your device in under five minutes. The only thing you will need is one of these CR2032 batteries and a coin or flathead screwdriver. Um, these batteries, you can find them online, and if you are looking to do so, go check out the link in the description. That'll take you over to Amazon where you can get this particular battery for just a couple of bucks. Now, getting right into it, you just want to find right here, there's a little opening in the, uh, in the plastic right along the seam of the two halves of the device. You can see there's that little slot right there. Um, I'm going to be using a coin. I think that just works better. You can also use a flathead screwdriver. And what we do is just insert it into that area and gently twist. And with very little force, the device will snap right open for you. You can now pull it apart set this down. And uh, from here, some of you out there maybe can just pull the battery out with your fingernail. I cannot, so I will be using this flathead screwdriver. You could also use a pen or pencil, anything that can fit into this little area. You can see right here, there's an indentation. That's going to help us get under the battery so we can just lift it right out. You can see how easy that was. So once you have your battery out, dispose of your old battery and make sure you are using a new CR2032 battery. And when you put your 2032 battery in, make sure the positive side that has the plus sign and the text on there is going to go face down. So we just click it in there, face down, and we are pretty much done. All we need to do is just reattach the two halves so go ahead and kind of align it all up and then just squeeze it back together. And you are all set. I hope that video helped you out. And if it did, feel free to let me know down in the comment section, or you can do so just by giving this video a like, which helps a lot. And if you ever need help with another one of your key fobs, you can always come back to our channel here. We have videos for the devices for pretty much every maker model out there. And you can also get that information directly over at our website, fobbattery.com.